Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the Akiam, the brothers pushing this truth through the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever, to the scattered. The speckled Buddhist lights will be scattered among the heathen. I say Shalom, and I say Shalom unto the few and faithful Akwat, the sisters, listening and learning. This is your brother Yerushalam from the GMS Prophetic Vibrations Camp out of Trinidad and Tobago coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Rakako Dash um, Now this video will be centered around this article from RT News RT.com slash USA Alright, it says that um, dozens of people develop rare blood disorder after taking the crown job all right you know which is what you know you know we are the great millstone have been seeing you know, from the start of this thing you know that this thing is no good all right you know basically it's poison you know in 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 past videos that i've done i went through and you know and, and went through the details of this um of this um this thing this v you know and um that it actually isn't isn't a v at all it is um it's a therapy it's gene therapy all right, and from what we've seen here, you know, is that um, it's actually it's actually um, mutating people's genes, you know, and and basically bringing death, you know, and that, and that's basically what it is. That's what it's doing. All right, so I may read through this article here. All right, it says at least thirteen recipients of the Pfizer Pfizer and Medina um, fee, you know, in the U.S. are developed rare immune disorder that attacks the blood right according to reports one patient is dead all right and doctors can cannot rule out blaming the the, the v but you know and that means this one that's dead it means there's many more that have died already from this thing you know they they just they just they're liars man you know they plain liars all right let's go some 64 all right let's go 58 all right psalm 50 and 3 it reads the wicked are estranged from the womb they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies all right so that's they they, they just lie and there's lies right you know their poison is like the poison of a serpent you know and it's true because you know basically saying this thing is gonna heal you and help you to to get immunity or whatever the case may be and you know it's, it's a lie you know they are like the deaf adder that stop at her ear which will not hearken to the voice of charmers charming never so wisely all right so and that and that's where really what's going on here you know let me just look for another precept here. All right, fifty-five and twenty-one. All right. All right. So Psalm fifty-five and twenty. He had put he had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him right because um jake is at peace with e with esau all right you know he had broken his covenant yeah because the scriptures say that that um esau he has broken his brotherly covenant you know, and because he broken his brotherly covenant the lord is going to destroy him all right because you know jake is at peace with him you know but he's still seeking to destroy us to destroy us all right with verse 21 says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter you know so they they they, they mouth smooth you know you hear you heard the um bill gates said that you know that this, this thing is going to help people and you know but really and truly what what do you say you know he they want to kill people all right so the words of his mouth were smoother than butter but war was in his heart yeah, and war is in their heart because they want to destroy us you know they they are they, they want to destroy us they are our enemies his words were softer than oil yet they were drawn swords all right and what does a sword do? A sword destroys. 
you know, a sword causes death and, and wounding. Alright? And that's exactly what this, this thing is bringing. Alright, so let's go back to the article here. Alright? Dr. Dr. Gregory Michael, a 56-year-old obstetrician gynecologist who ran his own practice at, Mid at Miami Beach Mount Sinai Medical Center for more than a decade, died in January of a brain hemorrhage. He had received a dose of, the, of that V, right, two weeks earlier and immediately developed immune thrombocytopenia, a rare and sometimes fatal blood disorder. All right. Now we go into this other, um, this other, um, this other article here. Of course, to, to just prove it, the UK regulator says the V, the V, um, benefits far away any known side effects. All right. So, it says that Michael is a, is a, is one of at least thirty six people to have developed the condition after receiving either um, the Pfizer or Modern V. According to New York Times report, right? You know, um, you know, and as many other we saw other cases um around on YouTube, you know, of people who who've either their, their feet have been swollen, you know, and and um and you know just oozing pus, you know, you know pus, you know, and then another woman, you know, again bears palsy, you know, the face actually becoming um paralyzed parts of the face. You know, if other and many other side effects, all right. Immune thrombocytopenia is a rare condition affecting an estimated 50,000 people in the U.S. The condition is caused by the body's own immune system attacking the platelets that are, co are the components of the blood responsible for clotting. You know, with their blood unable to clot, patients often develop internal and external bruising, which may look like a rash. Yeah, and that's the same thing you get when um when you when you have things like um. What do you call this thing? Uh, um, is it yellow fever? Yeah, when you have yellow fever, you know, it, you know, it's a serious virus. You know, you know, you get sometimes you get a serious rash on your skin and hemorrhaging under the skin, which is bleeding. Right? In several cases, like Michael's, the condition has caused massive hemorrhages or strokes because, you know, any little cut you get, you know, you're gonna bleed to death. You're gonna bleed out, alright, and die, right? Because you have no, you have no platelets. Right. One patient contacted by the Times suffered heavy vaginal bleeding two weeks after taking the V and required platelet transfusions and steroid treatment to survive. Right. Another woman was hospitalized with bruising and bleeding blisters in her mouth just a day after receiving the same V. Her condition deteriorated to the point where doctors concerned that a slight knock would trigger fatal bleeding were afraid to move her from the hospital bed so they so afraid you know because this this basically reduce your platelet level to zero and your platelets are are, are are extremely vital to your blood clotting you know therefore your survival all right and of course this part is lies yeah, they basically going down into this thing um it's not linked people saying it's not linked um these 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 wicked doctors but you know who, who's really seeing it you know, is these groups, the C is basically the CDA, alright, alright, the CDC, Slovakia, alright, they they're the ones who really seen it, and the FDA, and of course the, these are financed, and owned by who, the elites of ESO. So they're not gonna tell you the truth. This goes back to that same Sam I was reading there, alright. They're not gonna tell you the truth. Let's read over Psalm fifty-five and twenty-one. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. I knew they're going to bring um, destruction. All right? They're going to bring destruction. What we have to do is, what, is do this, right? Um, verse 22 reads, Cast thy burden upon your hour, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O power, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but but I will trust in thee. And this is where you have to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai. And that's our salvation. Yahweh Shai Mashiach is our salvation. Alright, that's what we have to trust in. We we'll trust in the system. Alright? You're leaning up on a broken rod that will that will eventually go into your hand. You know, just as the scripture in Isaiah 36 and 6 says, Lord our trust is in the broken reed. 
All right, so don't trust in don't trust, don't trust in these people. All right, don't trust any heathen. Don't make a covenant with any heathen. But that's what you're doing. All right. So let me go to um. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus chapter twelve, verse ten. It reads, you know, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. All right, so you have you have different levels of wickedness. You'll never you'll, you'll never be able to wipe it away hundred percent. And who are our enemies? You just had to go to Psalm eighty three, and it will tell you. It starts with the tabernacles of Edom, which is the so-called white man. You know, which starts at the top of Esau, starts at the elites. All right, they are the, they are our enemies. Then it goes on to the other enemies, the Moabites, the Ammonites. You know, the the so-called the Africans, which are the Hamites. All right, so that these are our enemies. All right, so never trust your enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. You know, yeah, they, 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 they playing games, and this, and this, and and that that president, that that you all jakes like, you know, Biden, you know, he gonna kill you. And he's worse than Trump. You make Trump look like a Girl Scout, as the Apostle said. Alright? You know? You know, they, they, they guess about playing games. You know, uh, Psalm 55 and 21. Alright? They're just playing games. They have smooth words. But war in their heart. War in their mind to destroy us. Verse 12 says, Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? That, right, and going back to Psalm 58, all right? The poison of the, of the serpent, all right? You can't play with a snake and, and expect not to be bitten, all right? Or such as come nigh wild beasts, you know, and this is the beast man, all right? You know, this is the vilest of men, the basis of men, all right? The scripture tells you that. Alright? Job 30. Alright? And in Book of Daniel. Alright? In Book of Daniel, Job said he wouldn't put him put wouldn't put him with the dog of his flock. So these, these people, these are evil people. Alright? Verse 14 says, So that so that so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? And that goes to, to the two thirds of Israel who are gonna be taking this thing. Alright? You know, you'd be you'd defile you'd find yourself with, with the um with the sinner, so but that's all the plan of the Lord, so the elect is not going to do this thing, do this stuff. Alright? So let me go to one more scripture here. Let's go to First Maccabees. First Maccabees chapter 16 and verse 13. Alright? Alright, um, let me start from verse 11. Moreover, in the plain of Jericho was Ptolemyus, the son of Abubas, made captain for he had the abundance of silver and gold for he was the high priest son-in-law and you know and that's a, that was a mistake there that um that jake made you know you know the high priest you know gave gave this edomite his daughter right which is which is what the lord forbid us to do you know no edomite supposed to be getting our daughters or no heathen all right so he, he he they made a covenant with the heathen you know join yourself unto the heathen by allowing the daughter to marry unto them all right you know, and it called, and it's exactly what happened in, in Sirach 12 is what happened here. What it's speaking about in Sirach 12, right? Verse 13 says, Wherefore his heart being lifted up, he thought to get the country to himself, and thereupon consulted deceitfully against Simon and his sons to destroy him. So you know, Simon and his son in the Maccabees, all right? Now Simon was visiting the cities that were in the country and taking care for the good ordering of them, at which time he came down himself to Jericho with his sons, Matathias and Judas, is any Maccabees, right? In the hundred three score and seventh year, in the eleven month called Sabbath, where the son of Abubas receiving them deceitfully, just like we, what we read in Sirach 12, alright? Pretending like he's he, he, um, he with them, you know, at his side, crouching, right? Just looking for the opportunity, right? When, so reading over verse 15, where the son of Abubas receiving them deceitfully, into a little hole called Dokos, which he had built, made them a great banquet. 
Right? You made them a big feast, right? How be it he had hid men there. Right? Well, he had hid men there. It had men hiding like a church, a church and horse. Right? So when Simon and his sons had drunk largely, Ptolemy and his, and, his, and his men rose up and took their weapons and came upon Simon into the bank, banqueting place. And slew him and his two sons and certain of his servants. So, so what they did, you know, they they, they wait until Simon and, and Judas, Simon and Judas and um, you know, and uh, and Matthias were disarmed, all right. You know, they 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 wicked. They're, I mean, they, they're snakes, serpents, right? And then they attack them, you know, and they are cowards too, you know. That shows that, all right. But that's what they, that's what they have to kill you. Same with same thing with this V, all right. And took their weapons and came upon Simon into the banqueting place and slew him and his two sons and certain of his servants. In which doing he committed a great treachery and recompensed evil for good. Alright, so that, that's, that's the enemy for you. Alright? So don't trust the enemy. Alright? Fear the Lord. Alright? Because the fear, the fear of man is a snare. Alright, and when you fear... These, 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 um, you know, well, and what, and that all goes back to the, to the RFID microchip, because they, there's going to be a fear that, um, eventually that they can't buy or sell, all right? Fear of man. All right, Proverbs 28, 29, and 25. Right, it's Proverbs 29 and 25. It reads, the fear, of, the fear of man bringeth a snare. A snare is a trap. Right? An assassin's trap dude kills your means you, right? You know, and that this thing is, is just a trap. Right? But whosoever putteth his trust in your hour shall be saved. Right? So, you know, those of you, those who put their trust in the Lord, the Lord is going to save us, you know, out of this thing. Alright? He's going to save us out of this thing. So, pretty much, um... Yes, this was just a quick video. Alright. She's spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Alright, I pray that this um this lesson has been edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, Wa Abad Babal Shalom.